Hi guys, so Hell here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a drop down list and a multiple selection drop down list. And what do I mean by that? Let's jump here. So, drop down list you have a, like some items here. You want to choose between any of them in a drop down list. And uh, your latest selection will be the selected up here. A multiple selection drop down list, it's giving you the option to add more than one. So each time you add, you're going to get the other one added to the list. For this one, unfortunately, the function is not available in Excel and we're going to have a little bit of a code. Um, you don't need to do coding. It's a visual basic code and I'm just going to give you the code in the description and copy and paste it. It's going to do the same thing. So how to do it? I'm going to do the same thing here for a uh, drop down list. You just go to data up here in the ribbon, data validation, allow list. And where is your source? You choose between these items, enter. Okay. So you're going to get the drop down list. Nice and easy. So how do you do the multiple selection drop down list? I'm going to do it here. Again, first, what you want to do is data, data validation. Uh, I already did this one. Let's do it again. So it's going to be any value. You're going to change it to list. Source will be this one. Okay. So right now you have a drop down list how to make it multiple selection drop down list. What you need to do is to add this developer uh, option in the ribbon. You may have it, you may not. If you don't have it, just right click, right click up here, customize the ribbon. It might be here and it's off. So you just turn it on. Okay. So developer mode, visual basic. So you can have it with Alt F11 or just click on Visual Basic. Up here, I mean, now I have the code. When you come in, it's like this. You just choose between which sheets you have your formula, uh, you want to have your formula in. So it's going to be sheet one in this case, in this example. Uh, formula will be here, which I'm going to put in the description. You just copy. The same thing, put it exactly same spot here and boom, you're going to have it here. As you add, you're going to have a multiple selection drop down list. The only thing you might want to change is now I have this multiple selection drop down list in F4. If you want to have it somewhere else, let's say on D6, you just change the first line here in your formula. So let's say you want to have it on D6, you change this to D and 6. That's the only thing you may want to change. Rest, just copy and paste the same code and you're going to get the same thing. Uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments. Thank you.